So let's go straight into our first topic. Tunaongea about the man leo and tukiuliza who is a responsible man exactly. Na nataka kujua in your own opinion madam acha nianze na wewe. Definition yako ya a responsible man in the family setup ni nini haswa? Chakula, school fees, shelter, yani nguo. Mambo karibu mambo yote. Huyo ndio bwana responsible. If that is the case, then the only reason as to why you should go to work or bona unaenda kutafuta pesa ya nini then kama lakini sawa kama mwanaume ndo anafaa ku provide everything sawa uh, uh, nini wana uh, wake wengi waendangi kazi sawa pesa yako utapeleka wapi basi pesa yangu ni yenyewe most people think that the responsibility is only financial but it might be even uh, emotional uh, social <coughs> you know uh, even the kids they need you to be yes, responsible okay. Uh, even if you don't have money but that part of money is also important because it contributes to other issues emotionally like you realize that uh, if you don't have money you might tear some emotions yeah. in, the, in the family uh, but to a certain to a bigger extent uh, that's why it has been abused most people think of responsibility in terms of financial yeah, money affect everything we do even in marriage some marriage have broken up because of marriage maybe there are some things in the first fajike and they need money and maybe if that money is not there somebody either the man or the lady or the lady can feel like there's something wrong ni ule tu anajua kutumikia familia yake na according to what i know about the bible najua tu mwanamke akiolewa na na mtu yeyote ni wa submit na kumfanyia kazi za kama za kuvuria nguo kuangalia watoto is of it should also be to a respectable man in a sense that vile anaji present eh alafu ni mtu ni lazima kuwa na anaweza ku balance eh maisha yake huko nje na maisha ya nyumba yake okay responsibility something is simply something starting inside yourself from the way you are the way you were brought up you should present yourself in a manner that you will take care of your family every issue which comes around <coughs> morally spiritually and everything you should be head of the family the man number 1 is a leader number 2 he is the head of the family and this is where most of the ladies do not mention they will mention about taking care of, of of our needs our material needs our financial needs but they don't remember to say he is my head and this is where everything is going wrong why man is being seen as an irresponsible person or figure is because there is no that respect ladies this day especially in kenya they no longer see men as the head but in some cases you find that the husband maybe is an employee has lost has lost his job you find that sometimes we ladies we do suppress them so much and we see them as though they are nothing What other things do men need to do eh ni vitu gani zingine ambazo wanaume wanafaa kufanya apart from providing protect their family security is 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 detailed because you want to take care of your children's education that's part of security you want to make sure your wife it's well she dresses well she feels comfortable around herself that's security the man the be, be in charge of the family whereby he leads he becomes an example to the family and he gives them and he guides them what they're supposed to do like the head of the family the presence in the family is very important you have to spend as much time as possible <laughs> so in a, in a scenario like uh, we have in in this in Nairobi now you have to work for many hours you know such that the problems that are cropping up is that you are not you have you are not able to spend as much time as possible with your family. Lakini ni pressures gani na stresses gani ambazo wanaume wana they go through on a daily basis when their wives do not accept them for who they are. And especially in Kenya you see most of the wives wanataka compare husband yake na wewe wajirani. They may not be working in the same group. Ama wa so popra. Imagine. Yes, ama kwa so popra. At the end nani alimnunulia kitu? What about him? Those are stresses. The wife should be should be willing to take the man as he is when a man is working then he comes home he is expecting to get a joyous wife eh and i'm receiving zero kambia oh you are working and something 
that he says I'm from job maybe nime joka sana kwa job na reach home I'm supposed to get a very good reception but now most ladies wanakwanga naki ama mefika saa tatu na nafika nga saa moja nambio kwa ni imda watu likuwa hapi so that thing start giving this person a stress and another feeling ni kama is not comfortable most of them are from expectation starting from home uh, to your boss your boss has so much expectation of you uh, the places your wife also has expectation from uh, what even your children so and then <coughs> the setup of Nairobi at the moment Every uh, you are expected to to do something extra for you to reduce the pressure. Is it that rather uh, society you know put so much pressure on men, and that's why some men behave in an irresponsible manner? Is it because of all that pressure? Let's just come back to the family setup. Your wife is working. You're working. After me pata salary, au juangi, ame mengia. Lakini namulikuwa mnaenda job the same. Unko na mlipi ambaka fair. Yes. But salary kuja end month. End month. <laughs> well, end month ikikuja kuna kuwa na shida. Mm -hmm. yeah, because the wife is not willing to be supportive. She says, "Wewe ndio unafaa ku provide." But that pressure ambayo inatoa kwa society mwanaume ndi, we should understand this. Kama tumekuja in a family setup, both of us to may agree to live together. Let's also agree to share responsibility. Yeah. So that hata <coughs> wewe mwanaume umeo, umeolewa na yeye, asikufe mapema. Mkuwe, you grow together, but a grey hair wote pamoja. Yes. Lakini ikiwa utamweka pressure mbaka, yes, as ingine mshara wake ya utoshi. Mm. Ata maybe some, some, some of the wives are getting more than their husbands. Yeah. So it should be, iyo, iyo pressure society inafaa kuachili wa kidogo. Kama shida ni nyole salon, nyua nyole, let's live happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, share, unajua, <laughs> JB, no, JB, <laughs> share, <laughs> salon, kama you are able to afford, kama salari yako inakuwa lao as a wife. Upate pesa extra ya kuenda salu. One month ama tu support. Mm. The culture you have today is that you have to depend on jobs. Most people, like 85% in Kenya, you have to depend on jobs. Na jobs as ingine zinaishanga, unasikia kama makambuni zina retrains watu. So umta kikuja nyumbana ana income. That thing is just the pressure itself. What can the man do to ensure and spend more time with the family? Uh, if somebody has kids, they are very young. Kids they want to play, but they when they play it's healthy for them. They also have to have their social life with their other children so that they can grow they up. Yeah. Quality time you make sure you have time with them, you pray together, you go out together, you have time to talk, time to laugh, time to talk serious business. That's quality time. Once a month, take a day. Now kinda total. Maybe starting from the mother to the father to the children and also if we have a house <coughs> to kaya jini na wao muulize mtoto wewe unaona unafinilika pande gani na unaona pande gani ndiyo unafuraia well, it, ile, I agree with that yeah. it is not it is not the amount of time you spend yeah. it is the, the quality, quality of mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. when you are having that quality time you are communicating with the family with the children you are interacting you see that time the, uh, somebody Okay, you could be having a problem or stresses, but they will open up during that interaction with the quality time. So me, I believe communication should be the, the key word in quality time spent together. Najek, your spouse, your wife, what is your role there as a man? The first thing is to love her. Then, you say that to listen to her. Mm -hmm. I think also communication in, with your spouse should be something which goes on every day. It should not break. With ladies, you have to understand. Uh, you have to understand when to talk, where to talk. Uh, you have to understand when to reason and sometimes when to keep quiet. You know, if you if you understand you already to the extent that uh, uh, the time to talk to her about something is now, the time to reason is now, and the time even to keep quiet and stop thinking about the, that issue. Is that time when you're spending with your wife communicating, just you know bonding with her? Is that the best time to talk about family planning? The best time to talk about family planning is when you are courting. To talk. 
uh, about the number of children you are supposed to have, that should be in the first instant when, when you are courting. You decide we, are, we want three or four or five or ten children. Pesa inaenda na watoto, to be frank. So, say them sharp at a door, you decide to have at least three kids, because muko na door. Anytime, so long as you have that, yeah. that no, you know when you are specific. There is no specific term. Yeah. Yeah. Because life changes. Yeah. In the family, I always equal mambo ni official. We make it very casual. So anytime, you only mambo ya kudiscuss anytime. See, kama headmaster na kwa na nini. Hakuna appointment. Hakuna appointment. Hakuna application. You love one another, you trust mkikutana. If you have time, yeah. again. But you realize kuna wale ambao, they are a bit conservative. Yeah. Now it's a very touchy issue for them to talk to. And that is what is destroying families. Once you meanza kuwa official in your family, at ibaka tu kiongea lazima tuwekeane appointment, that family sasa inaacha kuwa family. Sasa inakuwa ni institution. Ngine. Yeah, kuna family ngine, my neighbor, wakiamka asubuhi wa naimba national anthem. <laughs> By talking to your partner about family planning, then when we come on home, also you are able to provide that quality life for them. Because I will be some this is what we have planned to do. Now, family to tunay panga hivi, then you are able to move on. Vizuri mkua pamoja pia, sindio? So communication ni key sana, sindio? Okay, lakin tukimalizia, how can men, wanaume, wanazaje wakakua better role models? Fill in the gap. Eh? No matter what uh, he's going through. Yeah, because you know men, men are not like, you know women are kind of, uh, women open up. Deeply. But men, they bottle up their feelings. You know, in the family, wananyamaza, sazingine kitu mkasirisha, ongei. But I believe, kuongea, I don't know why I'm, I, I believe communication still, it will in a play a vital role in all this setup. Yeah. That man should be in everything. Put God first in prayer. He should first seek divine intervention so that God will guide him in all his ways. Mm -hmm. And through that, you'll never fail his family. He'll be a good role model. This thing is the first key thing, and this thing is very hard. For very many people but now if everybody becomes very disciplined it can be very easy the man should be seen as the leader He's, he should be seen as responsible able to respond and his children and his wife and the society around him they should look up on they should look up to him and say we like the way he acts we like the way he is disciplined we like the way he takes care of his family because surely a man is defined by the way he takes care of his family if you cannot take care of your family you cannot be anybody's role model. Family language talk one only 12 people, 12 children. What is the football team? Yeah, 11 is football team and more than a coach. Like any information. So we put our money out to help our community. To go to the streets, we put our money. Uko, then we'll be right back. Fathers should be people who guide people, uh, guide the family. They should be the leaders of the uh, the family. My opinion, yango. Mambo yona paso kuwa wala take care of the family yote, wala lipa kila expense ya family yote. Mentor the kids, as in portray a good example because uh, like guys get their identity from their father. If their father is a hard working man, very disciplined, they also turn out to be like that. Kazi yangu kwa nyumba ni kutafuta chakula, ku, kulipa nyumba, ku, kutafutia watoto. I think the role of a father in the family is to make sure that things run well in the family. Miriam, yes. this topic was proudly sponsored by Tupange. Exactly. Yeah, and mm. for more information, please send an email to info at tupange.or.ke or visit your nearest healthcare center. Or also they can visit the website, right? Yes. At www.tupange.or.ke. Hallelujah. So, so we're taking a short break yes. now, but don't go away. Usibanduke, yeah. we'll be right back. Usitupangue.